Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another late night weekend episode of Ted's Booze Cellar. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Head Rush Fruit Based Dry Hopped Sour Beer. Now, similar to sort of IPAs, um, with fruit based beers, and particularly ones that sour, there's a very fine line between getting these just right and getting them really, really wrong. Uh, now, as you can see by the slightly colourful and garish um, and expressive artwork on the can, you might be initially put off by the fact that, you know, it might be one of those ones where it has just too many flavours in it that don't really gel t together pretty well and just doesn't have, like, a cohesive flavour. Fortunately, this does have a good flavour in the sense that it, you know, has just, like, a couple of sort of flavours going through it they don't necessarily clash with each other too much. However, unfortunately, those flavours in question, uh, that being sort of like orange and a general sourness, while they do combine together pretty damn well, they, they could have been done better. Look, this isn't a bad beer. Um, and, you know, it has a unique can. You know, you open up the whole top here. It's got a very nice little bit of artwork on the front. And this company, um, Amundsen uh, uh, Brewery, they're known for these kind of beers. And they're not bad at doing them, but I just feel like they just slightly missed the mark with this one. It's not bad. It is... I'd say it's around about a solid 5 to maybe 6 out of 10. Um, so, you know, if I got one of these at a bar that someone had bought for me... I'd be more than happy, and the fact that this was included to me in a gift box, I'm more than happy enough with it. And in all fairness as well, I guess, it is one of those beers that you do have to take a few sips of to really appreciate to begin with. Um, you can't like really latch onto it at first, you have to try it out a few times, see if you actually do like it, and then if you want to finish it off. However, I can see a number of people not necessarily liking this one. I wouldn't blame them, but I would say when you taste it, give it a little bit of a chance and give it another try just to double check. Because for all I know, like there could be loads of people out there who would love this sort of thing. And it has the potential to be a really good beer if the flavour is just a bit more... Um, not focused, because it's already a pretty focused enough flavour anyway, but if it's a bit more... Um, Subtle, because uh, while I appreciate a decent sour beer now and again, it's a little bit too sharp and sour in that regard. And I understand that that's kind of the you know, aim of this particular beer, but it does go a slight bit overboard in that regard. Still, it's a decent enough beer, and it's well worth the price, to be fair. Um, could maybe do with being a little bit less sharper, maybe a bit more mellow. But aside from that, it's... It's not bad. It's definitely not bad at all. At the, you know, at the lowest, it's like a five out of ten. Um, so you know, I can't say it's bad. It's just a little bit disappointing in certain areas, but still, uh, possibly recommended for people who do like sour things. And in general, I would say even if you don't like it at first, give it another shot and see how you think afterwards. In any case, I have been uh, Titan Ted. Uh, this has been Ted's Booze Cellar. Uh, if you want to show me any extra support, be sure to check out my YouTube channels and other social media platforms in the video description below. Uh, if you want to see any other alcohols or any other kind of videos on this um, yeah, channel in the future, leave them in the comment section below. Any likes, shares and subscribes are always appreciated as well, of course. And until next time, uh, stay safe, have fun, uh, know your limits, um, drink responsibly and uh, I'll see you guys at the bar. Until then, bye-bye from me.